hi guys hi again welcome back welcome back to another kenya vlog if you haven't already checked out the other two make sure you do links will be in the description but this day was super exciting i started off in old Lusawan. i got ready for the day to go meet becky and then we headed over to cj's in village market i would highly recommend before heading over to our pottery class <laughs> if you need to learn how to talk to a lady Okay, so we headed over to Tope, Kenya. It's around 20 minutes away from Village Market. And oh my goodness, guys, words cannot describe how good of a time I had. It was so amazing. So we started off with a tutorial from our tutor. This was around 20 minutes, I would say. He was basically going through all the different things that we could make and showing us how to do it. And he made it seem super, super easy. I kid you not. I was like, oh, I've got this in the bag. I can do this. And then I later come to find out that he has seven years worth of training in pottery hence why he made it look so easy and it was in fact not that easy but I made some friends as well like there were these other two women there I love talking to strangers in these sorts of settings when you're just all exploring new things the energy is just always amazing but I honestly loved it so much I would highly recommend this place They pull the core. guys know how much I love giraffes. I feel like the giraffe center is such a must visit whenever you're in Nairobi. It's such a great way to interact with the animals without going on a proper safari. This was probably my third or fourth time going since I can remember and it's just as good every single time. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Hey, we're Becky. We're in the car. We've just come from the giraffe center. Mm -hmm. A star vibes. How did you find it? It was really good except when the giraffe tried to headbutt me. Yes. Um, but yeah. honestly, when do you just feed a giraffe on a Thursday morning? Exactly. Um, we're on our way to Canopy, which is a new cafe Becky found. Um, yesterday, obviously, you saw us do a pottery. The good vibes. The vibes. Just they were just so A-star. Yeah. Like, the last time you actually saw Becky was when we were in Belgium. So we're traveling all over the place. We're doing international. We are. Yeah, so we're going to shoot some content the rest of the day. Um, get some food at Canopy. It looks really, really great. The perfect vibes. Mm. We're both matching in our beige. Yes. Um, but yeah, anything else you want to say? Um, I'm very hungry and I'm very excited to see you. Yeah. Okay, we'll catch up in a bit. Bye. <laughs> So Kenya has a lot of national parks and we were in Nakuru so decided to check out Lake Nakuru National Park and honestly blown away. This is probably my favorite one that I've been to so far in Kenya. The lake is stunning and I remember last time there being a lot more flamingos because of global warming and the rising levels of the water, the flamingos are migrating elsewhere and it's honestly crazy to see firsthand the effects of global warming but it's still such a beautiful place I'd highly recommend putting it on your list, very high up your list. <laughs> Our tour guides were absolutely amazing as well, I'll leave their information down below. We were with them the whole day, they showed us all the hidden spots, gave us so much information and I feel like I learned so much from them which is always amazing. We have made it to this Airbnb. Madre, how do you feel? Uh, I feel great. You enjoy it? Yeah. <laughs> 
So this is the kitchen area. Um, I feel like it's giving me very bachelor pad manly interiors, but I kind of like it. Or the dark black matte. Um, I think this is the fridge in here, very nice. I like how they've concealed that. Nice bar stool area here. I'm loving the natural light. I can't wait to show you upstairs. The sofa is very comfortable, already tried it. There's Netflix and stuff on here. Oh, there's a toilet down here, which is really nice. Um, I mean, it's just a toilet. I don't know why I'm saying it's really nice. Okay, and then we come in here, double beds as bunk beds. How cool is that? We've got some shelving over here, which is nice. I love how they've done this with like the railing over here. Okay, this is by far my favorite bedroom. It's stunning. Love the natural light coming in through these windows. We've got a mirror over here. Some more natural light coming in from a window on the side. I just love it. This is really nice. And then we've got a desk area over here. And guys, look at these grounds. This is ridiculous. If you have kids, play with them on the slide. So fun. There's a pool area over there. So amazing. They even have like a net over there for badminton. And there's a resort next door. So there's like a restaurant and everything that people who stay in the shed have access to, which I think is really nice. Cause it is low key in the middle of nowhere. Um, guys, I really look bad today. What is going on with this outfit? This is really, really bad. I didn't even show you the bathroom. Now this to me is the epitome of like manliness. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know many women who would opt for black tiles in a bathroom but it works. It works really well. I'm loving the matte black contrast with the glossy tiles. And I think this is like a smart mirror of some, oh, we love to see it. Sorry for the interruption, future Tati here, editing. I can't believe I didn't tell you guys about this sooner. If you're a content creator or writer or you want to get into that sort of stuff, you're gonna find this super useful, a huge time-saving hack. Hey Friday is the ultimate writing assistant tool. It has over 40 templates with over 30 writing tones and you can customize your content for nearly any writing situation. It's so cool. Whether you're trying to come up with a YouTube title, a YouTube description, an Instagram caption, an email, a tweet, anything honestly. And because it uses AI, it's so fast. Hey Friday can produce up to 500 words a second. And normally this could take around 15 minutes to type out. So that saves so much time. I also really love how it helps with creativity. So for example, if I'm trying to come up with an idea for a piece of content and all I know is that I want it to be about productivity, I can type that in as a keyword and it gives you a list of ideas all relating to that keyword. It's genius. And you know what's even cooler? Friday art allows you to create loads of different types of paintings using artificial intelligence. So I typed in city skyline in the rain, answered a few of their questions and it produced such a cool painting in seconds. I could not believe it. So overall, not only does Hey Friday save you so much time and assist you with your creativity and productivity, it's also one of the cheapest and most powerful AI assistants on the market. Hey Friday are very kindly offering one month of the pro package for just $9.99 and $100 off for one year of their power package. Also, if you want some rewards like cash prizes and memberships, Hey Friday have a Facebook group where you can interact with the Hey Friday AI team, give them feedback with your chance to win. The group is literally open to everyone and anyone can claim a prize. So all of those codes and links will be in the description below. So thank you to Hey Friday for sponsoring this part of the video. Let's get back to the vlog. One thing that I'm actually very happy that I've continued into the new year is my love and my drive for reading more. I love a slow morning where I just get to read, even if it's for 10 minutes. So I'd highly recommend implementing this into your morning routine if possible. Yeah, this was a very slow morning and the rest of the day was also very chill. I was shooting content, working, reading and chilling. <laughs> guys good morning woke up kind of late ish today or later than i wanted to wake up i wanted to wake up at like 6 i woke up at like 8 30 because i slept so late as well but um i look quite bummy because i didn't have time to shower um, had a yeah my mom had a line today which is really really impressive very impressive <laughs> the other day what time did you get in the other day get in 4 a.m 4 a.m she got home and then what time did you get up 
7 a.m. Business to do. Yeah, she's the definition of work hard, play hard. But breakfast ends at 10 a.m. It's like 9.40 right now, so. So I'm gonna go now because my mom's getting impatient. But yeah, let's go. Just like that, it was time to head back to Nairobi to get ready for my flight back to London. I can't believe how fast those four weeks went. It was such an amazing trip. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the videos. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss any videos. My social media links will be in the description below. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. I'll see you next time. So bye.